Ladies and gentlemen, this is the fight you have been waiting for, the co-main event. Ten rounds of boxing in the heavyweight division. Introducing to you, in the red corner, from Charlotte, North Carolina, wearing blue trunks with gold trim, weighing in at 206 and three quarter pounds, with a professional record of 12 wins, four losses. Eight of those wins by knockout, Mark Young. And in the blue corner, from Catskill, New York, wearing black trunks, weighing in at 219 pounds, with a professional record of 14 wins, no losses, all wins by knockout, Mike Tyson. The referee is Sid Rubenstein. Ten rounds, heavyweight. The fighters getting their instructions. There again you see the records. Mike Tyson from nearby Catskill undefeated. This is a scheduled ten-rounder, Ray Mancini, and for Mike Tyson, he's never seen anything near the tenth round. I'll tell you, Mike Tyson has come to fight tonight. That's the first time I've seen a main event fighter come in the ring with no robe on. He says, I'm ready to go, and let's just do it. Well, he has said go to his opponents early in all of his 14 right. fights. Right. If you blink in the first round, you'll probably miss a Mike Tyson fight. He's a young, strong guy. He jumps right on his, his opponents. And uh, I think this might be another early stoppage because this guy's been a little wild. He's going to get caught with something. Mark Young out of Charlotte, North Carolina, comes out swinging. That jab pushed him back. Oh, this guy is like a like a ball of granite. Awesome is an overused word in the 1980s, but Mike Tyson is absolutely awesome. Just sit back and watch, but don't blink, because you could miss it. A low right from Young. And down goes Mark Young. A breeze, That's it. a little phantom. He's gone. It's over. First round. Mike Tyson of Catskill, New York. I'd like to see that one myself. It's 15 and 0. I would like to see it also. It was on the opposite side of the ring. And, uh... Well, we said if you blink, you could miss it. Young had taken a punch from Tyson, and then all of a sudden, Young went flying to the canvas. And a happy Mike Tyson, the heavyweight. Highly publicized, highly thought of now, 15 and 0, and a typical finish early. You know, Ken, the, the fans here can't be disappointed. They've had a good night of boxing. I've always said if you get a main event, you got to have support it with a good semifinal. We, they saw a great fight against Rosario Montoya. Mike Tyson comes out, wins one round. They're very happy because the homeboy won, and, they, and they've, had, you know, they've been treated to a good night of boxing. How good is Mike Tyson? Like I said, he's as good as the people he's fighting and as good as he wants to be. He has all it takes. And what I always say when it, when it takes is what you have on the inside. He has all the qualities, all the attributes to make it to the top. Uh, but I think they got to start giving him something to fight. I mean, he's had several one-round opponents. Sure, he is strong. He's, he's jumping on guys, catching them early. But he's, gotta, you know, he's not fighting all world beaters. Here it is. Tyson in the darker trunks, lands a left. Watch closely now. You can see he's hurting them with them jolting uppercuts. But I, I just still don't know what hit him. There will be a Tyson shot that hits him. And they separate. The knockdown, knockout coming in round one of this heavyweight fight. There it was. The winner is Mike Tyson. The local favorite gives a show, and let's go back to the ring.
50 seconds of the first round, Mike Tyson! The crowd chanting the next heavyweight champion, Mike Tyson. You definitely are going to hear more about him. As if you haven't, he's gotten a lot of publicity. Mike Tyson from Catskill, New York. Mike Tyson here was throwing a lot of strong uppercuts, a lot of strong body blows, but he hit him with a quick left right there. It snapped the head back, and it, you know, a lot of times you catch a guy on the right side of the chin. I didn't want to work, and I was a little bit not really. I, I expected him to come out because I was watching him in the way and the way he was looking at me, and he and I felt the intensity of his personality. And then he just came out to fight, and I was ready to come in here and fight with him and stay body to body with him for ten rounds. Well, it was a scheduled ten rounder, Mike Tyson. You win it at 50 seconds of the first round. You've not gotten past the second round in any of your fights, have you? Well, um, yeah, I, I went four rounds in one fight um, here in Albany, also, but. I have no doubt in my mind that I can go 10 or 15 rounds. I have no worry. I'm never worried. Well, that's good. You you train you train hard. Your future. Everyone around, at least the United States, talking about you is certainly a potential heavyweight champ. You've got 15 fights in now. Are you concerned that you haven't had a long fight, a tough challenger? No, I'm not. You, everyone saw this guy came to fight. He wasn't intimidated of my reputation or my name or if I can knock out somebody. He came to fight and came to make a name for himself. And those are the people that you have to watch out for because they're dangerous and they're desperate. And but they don't know. They think because I have a lot of glamour and a lot of prestige, I'm hungry too and I want it all. And what's in the immediate future for Mike Tyson? Well, you have to talk to my managers about that. At the particular moment, I'm just training and I'm prepared for every fight. I think I have a fight next week here also in Albany. And I'm very glad and happy to fight. And a heavyweight championship? How far away? In the future, but I couldn't predict it. I have managers, and as you know, you have to talk to them because they um, arrange business, and that's not my field. You're a boxer, right? Yes, sir. How about the home crowd? They were really behind you. Oh, yeah, I loved it. It was great. And I love to fight here all the time if I can. But, you know, business is business. Sometimes um, you're a popular demand some other places, and I'm fortunate to be that. You have the, the big knockout punch. You're the big heavy hitter. Yet you have a lot of finesse for a heavyweight. Give us a little of the background, how it's all developed. Well, I had a great teacher in Customato who smoothed in and smoothed the rough, the rough edges out and everything. And besides the point, I always had good character. And it's just the way I am. You're patting yourself after anyone? No one at all. I'm Mike Tyson, and there's no one like me. You know, they're always going to compare you against the great heavyweight champs, not necessarily a direct comparison, but nowadays, when they talk about heavyweights, they say, will there ever be another Muhammad Ali? Well, I'm not, I'm not interested at that moment. I'm just interested in making a name for Mike Tyson at the moment. I don't, you know, I don't dwell on the heavyweight champions of the past, which they are. They, they lay, they're the yardstick to my success. I, gotta, I have to measure to them. The, the great champions that's up in heaven right now watching me, they're probably saying, that's another good one for Mike. Mike, you did a fine job tonight. Keep up the good work, and we'll look for you in 